the circle below circumscribes the triangle ABC where AB is equals to 6.3 cm, BC is equals to 5.7 cm and AC is equals to 4.8 cm. Go BAC is equals to 60 degrees. Find correct to two decimal places the area of the shaded part. Use pi to be 3.142. Now to find the area of the shaded part, we shall get the area of the circle. Then we subtract the area of the triangle. By that we'll be left with the shaded parts. So the shaded part, so shaded part is equals to area of the circle, area of the circle, subtract area of the triangle. Now we'll name this triangle as ABC so that we can work out easily. So let me name it as these corners A, B, C. The side opposite A, I'll denote that by small a. The side opposite B, note that with small b. The side opposite C, denote that one with small c. Let's begin with getting the area of the circle. How do we get the area of the circle? Area of the circle is given by pi r squared. We have pi, we don't have the radius. So how do we get the radius? We are going to use a certain concept, the sine rule, to get the radius. Remember this? The sine rule, using whatever we have here, a over sine of angle a is equals to b over sine of b is equals to c over sine of angle c is equals to 2 radius. This is what is going to help us to get the radius, the sine rule. We don't need to use all these. We just consider what we have, where we have an angle and a side. And in this case, when you look at this, we have angle c in the diagram and you have the side c. So we can extract that. So we can use this one only and this will be able to give us the, the radius. So c is 5.7 divided by sine of c, sine of that angle, which is 60 degrees, is equals to 2 radius. So we may just need to make r the subject. So r will be given by, to remain with r, just multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 2, which is a half, will be given by 5.7 divided by 2 sine of 60. Use a calculator to work out this. And this one will give 3.291. 3.291 centimeters. So we have the radius. Now we can get the area of the circle. So area of the circle, therefore, is given by pi r squared, pi, which is 3.142, times the radius, which is 3.291 squared. So this will give us the area of the circle. So I calculated to work out this. We give the answer to four significant figures. This will give 34.03 centimeters squared. Now we have the area of the circle. The next thing now is to get the area of the triangle. The area of the triangle. Look at this triangle ABC. How do we get the area of the triangle? Which formula do we use? When you look at this triangle, we have two sides and an included angle. Two sides an unincluded angle. So the best formula to use is a half. So area of this triangle, ABC, will be given by half AB, A times B, sine of theta. So in this case, we have half times A is either of the side. You have actually, you have it here. A is 4.8, 4.8. Then B is 6.3. Then times sine of theta, this angle. 60. So work out this using a calculator. Get the area of the triangle. For significant figures, this will give 13.09 centimeters squared. So now we have the area of the circle and the area of the triangle. So therefore, the area of the shaded part, the area of the shaded part is given by the area of the circle, which is 34.03. Subtract the area of the triangle. That will give, this will give 20. 0.94, 20.94 centimeters squared. The area. That is how you're supposed to get the area of the shaded part.